Where's the president? His back is pretty bad today. He canceled the morning. He'll stay in bed and make some calls. We should move this to my... Hey! Mr. President, I thought you were staying in bed. No, I feel fine. Uh, maybe you should get back to the residence. Hmm? I said, maybe you should get back to the residence. Maybe you should lie down. Absolutely no need. I'm fine. What's going on here? Nothing you need to concern yourself with, Mr. President. Merely a perception issue regarding Toby and the financial disclosure. Well, I like to roll up my sleeves and, you know, get involved. Mr. President, did you by any chance take your back pills? Well, I don't mind telling you, CJ. I was in a little pain there. Which did you take, sir, the Vicodin or the Percocet? I wasn't supposed to take them both. OK, Mr. President, we're going to have someone take you back to bed. No, no, no. Sit, sit, sit. One of you's got a problem. I'm here to help. You guys are like family. You've always been there for me, always been loyal, honest, hardworking, good people. And I love you all very much. And I don't say that often enough. So tell me what the problem is, Toby. Uh, I'm Sam, sir. Sam, of course you are. Sir. <clears throat> sir. Hmm. Uh, the situation basically is this. I arranged for a friend to testify to commerce on internet stocks while simultaneously, but unrelated to that, bought a technology issue which, partly due to my friend's testimony, shot through the roof. Toby. Toby, Toby, Toby. Toby's a nice name, don't you think? No, can we possibly do this meeting at another time? No, 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 please, Leo. I know my body. I mean, you know, I know my muscles are not, you know, but, but my mind is sharp. I can focus. I am focused. You all know that about me. Here's what I think we ought to do. Was I just saying something? Mrs. Landingham. Look, I think we need to run through some options. Yes, sir. Get Charlie. Let's start at the bottom. What do you mean? There's always resignation. Hot damn, now you're talking. I think she meant me, Mr. President. Ah. Uh, well, of course, Toby's not going to resign. I think we're making more of this than we need. I got it. I've got a lawyer from the White House Counsel's Office. Got it. What? Counsel's Office releases a statement through CJ. Using the strongest possible language, we make it very clear that there has been no wrongdoing of any kind. Yes. But to avoid even the appearance of impropriety, Toby has agreed to reduce his salary for one year to one dollar and immediately cash out his stock issue, thereby relieving the taxpayer of the burden. Done. Wait. Good, Sam. Thank you. No, it's it's not good, actually. It stinks. Toby, you're a great writer. Do you know that? Well, thank you very much. Come here, give me a hug. Leo. Come on, give us a hug. There you go. Excuse me, Mr. President. Charlie. Mr. President, I left you alone for two minutes. Charlie's a great name. Thank you, sir. You have to I'm go going, back to I'm bed. Going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh. Before I go, please let me just say this. I'm seriously thinking about getting a dog. Well, feel better, Mr. President. Maybe an Irish setter, Charlie. What do you think? I think that's great, sir. Nine, no help. Jack, no help. Eight, possible flush. King, possible flush. Ace, no help. Six, possible straight. Dave of love for the dealer. Ace bets. Check. 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 Mr. President? There is one fruit. Oh, please. There is one fruit. Mr. President, check a bet, sir. Those are your choices. There is one fruit. Well, you should feel free to give us a quiz on inane trivia. There is one fruit <laughs> whose seeds are on the outside. Name it, please. Is it the kumquat? No. <laughs> well, check a bet, sir. I bet five. Oh. <clears throat> Sip. Fold. Sit. Oh. I see it. And I raise you five. Uh-huh. Trouble. 
What's present? It's the strawberry. Oh, oh, that's oh right. Well, thank you, sir. I just raised your bed. Yes, you did, Toby. And I thought it was a bold move when you consider that Leo is holding the six you're looking for. Do you call the race, sir? It depends. It depends on what? There are 14 oh. punctuation marks in standard English grammar. Can anyone name them, please? Period. Comma. Colon. Semicolon. Dash. Hyphen. Uh, apostrophe. That's only seven. There's seven more. Question mark, exclamation point, quotation marks, brackets, parentheses, braces, and ellipses. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Do you call the raise, sir? There are three words in the English language and three words only that begin with the letters DW. This is a pretty good illustration of why we get nothing done. <laughs> Can anyone name them for me, please? Three words that begin with the letters DW. Yes. Dwindle. Yes. Dwarf. Yes. Dwindle. Twank. Dwindle and dwarf. <laughs> Come on, Princeton. We got Dwindle. We got dwarf. Uh, I see you five and raise you five, by the way. Dwarf. Dwindle. Fold. Fold. Last card down. A witches brew a magic spell. An enchanted forest where... There is dwell. Uh, dwell. Dwell. Dwindle, dwarf, and dwell. Well, the answer's correct, but let's check with our judges and say... Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> time expired. What? What time? My time. You have your own time? <laughs> <laughs> I call. Trip nines. Ooh. Take your money, sir. <laughs> you dwell to report that to the IRS, because God knows I will. <laughs> Hey, I'm done. I'm gonna head home. Kiss Jenny for me. Yeah, I will. Sam, I'm going back to the office. They got the commerce report ready for me. What are you doing? I was gonna go home. Sam, I'm going back to the office. They got the commerce report ready for me. What are you doing? I'm gonna go back to your office with you. Make sure you understand the commerce report. <laughs> Thank you. When I get through with you, you're gonna know everything there is to know about standard data versus sampling data in the census. Charlie, I'm headed over to the residence. You're done for the night. Thank you, sir. I'm going to stay a bit to do some paperwork. I'll stay up too late, son. How'd you do? 84 bucks. Most of that's mine. What's that? Excuse me, Mr. President. I'm sorry. The building's not secure. Would everyone stay in the room, please? This is happening way too often. It's pledge week at the fraternities. The kids hop the fence. Do you mind stepping away from the doors and windows, please? This whole room is doors and windows. Josh. I'm cooperating. I'm cooperating. This will be under control in just a minute, Mr. President. All right. What body of water in South America is formed by the confluence of... Excuse me, Wink Martindale. Do you really think this is the time? Not quite up on your South American maritime geography there, my friend. We're clear. Saved by the bell. This is the kind of thing that didn't used to happen at my old job. Charlie. Good morning. How was your weekend? It was good, sir. What'd you do? I was here most of the time with you, sir. Time well spent. Yeah. Weren't you going to a flea market? Yeah, I picked something up for you. You didn't have to do that. Yeah. It's a map of the Holy Land that was drawn in 1709. It's titled Canaan, Palestine, or the Holy Land. Mm, nice sucking up. Thank you, sir. Look at these topographical details. Seriously, I'm going to have this frame. This is great. If you leave it here, I'll send it out. I'm going to play with it some more. Good morning. Look at this map. 1709. The Dead Sea, Jordan River, Mount Sinai. That's beautiful. You want to come inside? Yeah. Thanks again, sir. Hey, you want to see something? Charlie gave this to me. It's a map of the Holy Land drawn in 1709. He got it at a flea market. It's hand-colored, copper engraved. He's going to put it in the outer office. This outer office? Yeah, no. Why? Why? Yeah. Because some people are going to find it offensive. Why? Doesn't recognize Israel. It was drawn in 1709. Yeah. There was no Israel. Right. Israel wouldn't happen for another 250 years. Yeah. So what's the problem with the map? Some people are going to find it offensive. Why? It doesn't recognize Israel. Take lunch, would you? Thank you, Mr. President. Wait. I want to show you this great map Charlie found. Sir, I know that. You can't put it up in the West Wing. See, Jerry. It doesn't recognize Israel. There was no Israel in 1709. That's right. So it's not on the map. Which is what some people are going to find offensive. That's ridiculous. You know what would be great? If I put it someplace else? Yes. 
Leo has, in what used to be his house when he was married, a map of the United States. The first third of it is the 13 original colonies. The second third of it is the French territory of Louisiana. And the third third is Mexico. In this map of the United States, there is not a single state. That's because when this map was made, there was no United States. I am the president of the United States, and I'm not offended by it. Well, you're bigger than 10 men, sir. What do you say we put it out of the way? I'm having it enlarged and bolting it to the hood of my limo. They don't want us to put up our map, Charlie. They're Philistines in the fight for freedom, but that doesn't bother us, does it? Huh? Never mind. It's not like I'm agreeing with the people who are going to be offended. It's just that you're asking for a whole lot of pain in exchange for which you get nothing but an old map. That's the key, an old map, an old map. Spin that. See, now you got me out there spinning things. Anything else? Let me ask you something. You may be the last sane voice around here. Hang on, before I forget, that map that Charlie gave you, make sure you don't put it where people can see it. I don't believe this. Recognizing Israel's a pretty hot button, wouldn't you say? In Lebanon, not here. It's not like I'm thinking, God, I was gonna recognize Israel, but now that I've seen this map, you know what? Let's just sit here quietly. Yes, sir. We got a problem. No kidding. Sorry, I blew through that drawer like Jeez. Captain Rowe and, I'm sorry, I should take a lamb. What's this guy's name, ma'am? Katz and Moyer, O'Bannon, LeBron, and uh, that guy, and, uh, and Wick, too. Lincoln. Abraham? Tom. <laughs> sorry. Tom, you're nice, Tom. What did I say there? <laughs> Where are you? Tina. I'm going to ask uh, Tony Ziegler and... I'm gonna ask Toby Ziegler and Ron Sia. Did you change your name since the last day? I wanna bring Tony Ziegler and uh, Sam Seaborn in here and talk about this a little That's bit. That's fine, sir. Okay. Charlie? I know I said Tony, his name is Toby. Reality is reality. If they hop the fence, they're going to jail. What they do once we get to them is what's gonna determine for how long. What tripped the alarm? Well, there are alarms on the ground here, 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 and here, 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 here. Leo! Would you like to know how they punished the kids? All right, look, when do we get the A, B, the B, A, B, the B? There's a problem with that, sir. Why? Uh, Mr. wants to back a candidate. Give it to me. You ran great guns in the campaign. It was a, it was a, what was it? Upside down from their knees. <laughs> or beat them <laughs> with strips of leather. Mr. President, it's, it's, I'm... <laughs> that's a nice fish. Look, I've got something to do in the next room. I just need you to do me a favor. <laughs> a day. <laughs> I mean, and I'm not going in there head in my hand, hat in my arm. Toby. The National Security Advisor and the Chairman of the G Joint Chiefs. Oh, anybody happens to see Vasily Roma Kona? Let me tell you something. Don't ever, ever trust me in a close up. There's been an offer from the town of Shrewsbury in Shropshire Island. <laughs> yeah, you just smiled, didn't I? <laughs> One take Bartlett. That's what old Jack Warner used to call me. Could they do a better job choosing? Yeah. When you consider the alternative. Anyway. Herself is up in the... <laughs> I'm up in... I'm hiring a kind of... <laughs> and smooth it over with the cast. I mean, with the uh, staff. And really, I don't want to... Uh, and smooth it over with the... With the... Uh, the uh, <laughs> Four is my lucky number. <laughs> what? Mr. President. What? At any rate. Yeah!